Hey guys, this is Allie with iMore, and today we're going to take a look at three popular text editor apps. I have been scouring the App Store, and I come up, I came up with the three that I think are probably the best that are going to probably suit readers more than anything. So we're going to take a look at ByWord, IA Writer, and Elements, and see who comes out on top. Okay, so first up we're going to take a look at ByWord. Um, some of the things I really like about ByWord is the fact that the interface is very, very easy to navigate through. As you can see here, you're going to have your navigation on the left, uh, whether your stuff is saved in Dropbox, iCloud, or locally on your iPad and not synced. This is where it's going to show up at. The bottom left-hand corner here, you're going to notice that you can tap in here and you can uh, set up syncing. It'll prompt you the first time you sign up as well. You can also change the path that you uh, would like to save things in. I don't want a path for different uh, different applications if I'm just editing text in them, so I actually set them in the same folder regardless of the app. You can also turn on manual syncing from here. Uh, we can tap into an article here. And as you can see, uh, how this will be is it's going to show you your word count right here. And then what you're going to get is you can actually take your finger and you can slide to the left here and you're going to get some popular markdown uh, basically syntax here that you can use uh, brackets, parentheses, then you can tab through words with these uh, down a line. One more swipe and you're going to get where you can insert header tags easily, you can insert links easily, and you can insert images easily all within markdown format. Uh, when you want to view a preview for Markdown, you go up here in this corner, Preview Markdown, and it shows you the preview of that. Obviously, I didn't insert an image, so it's just showing a blank box. But you're going to get things like that. Uh, ByWord is very, very, very easy to navigate through. That's one of the things I really like about it. Um, it's also very easy to access all your content. It's straightforward, it's simple, it's not inhibitive. Um, there's not a lot to learn, so users that really want to just pick up something and start writing, this is perfect. Okay, now we're going to take a look at IA Writer for iPad. Uh, I guess it's worth noting ByWord, IA Writer, and Elements are all available for um, iPhone and iPad. We're just taking a look at the iPad versions right now, but they will uh, have all of them. Uh, IA Writer is going to be very similar to ByWord, um, but those of you that want Markdown Preview, scratch this one off your list because it does not support Markdown Previews. Obviously, you are, of course, welcome to type in Markdown. You just won't have a way to preview it. Uh, one thing I really do like about... Um, IA Writer is if you're the type of person that quickly loses thought or you'll get drugged to another part of the paragraph easily, your eyes will wander, uh, you can actually activate up here in this right hand corner, corner focus mode. It will basically, um, it'll only focus on the sentence that you're actually looking at. So as you go further down here, so I can start typing and it'll, it'll basically fade out to the next sentence. So you're basically, it helps you keep your train of thought. Um, if you're just the type of person, if you just need to take notes, if you need to write a paper or write something and not be distracted by other content, this is a great app. Um, you cannot change the, uh, the font. So if that's a big issue for you, there really is not much customization in IA Writer at all. It's pretty much meant for you to just start writing and that's about it. Uh, you can go up here to your navigation. You can navigate. I do like the fact that you can navigate through anything in your Dropbox folder, which is kind of nice. Um, so I can type into anything here. Uh, as I said, there's, there's no uh, Markdown support, but you can still write in Markdown. Uh, I believe the keyboard might even have some shortcuts for yeah, up here you've got your parentheses, um, no brackets though, so it doesn't really, it's not meant to support markdown. Um, you can export things as an attachment, um, text, you know, you can save in HTML as well. So it's pretty much um, a simplified version. If you're looking for something like this, I think ByWord's still a little bit more powerful, so now we'll take a look at Elements and see what that brings to the table.
All right, so now we'll take a look at our third and final app, which is Elements. Uh, I've actually used Elements for quite some time now. Um, it's always been one of my favorites. Uh, the organizational structure is very neat, um, very simple to use. Uh, you just pull down to refresh your files. I can jump into any one of these and tap an article. Uh, one thing I do like about um, Elements is you have a light and a dark mode. It's there's a little there's a few more buttons. There's a little bit more you can personalize and customize within Elements compared to the other two. Um, much more than IA Writer. IA Writer is very simple. Byword is a little bit more complex. Elements is a little bit above that. Uh, up here you've got your Markdown preview, so you can tap that and you can view what it's going to look like in Markdown and click done up here or in that bottom corner you've got an op option to copy to HTML you also have this option in Byword. Um, you also have a scratch pad I believe in here that you can use to take notes on so that's nice if you want to take notes on if you're writing a paper you want to put notes in there. Uh, you can also get info about the article word count, character count, line count and you can also customize a couple options. You can choose through uh, through a couple different fonts. I believe IA Writer. IA Writer does not let you customize fonts or change the font. Uh, I believe Byword has a choice of four fonts, and you can change the size as well. You can change margins, whatnot. You can change your theme from dark to light. So. Um, overall, I would say that Elements is definitely good, but you're not going to have a Mac counterpart. IA Writer and Byword both have Mac apps. Of the two, I would say my favorite of all of these three is actually going to be Byword. I think it's a, a nice median ground between the two. Elements does not have a Mac app, so that might rule it out. Um, the other two have a little bit better syncing capabilities, but Elements is a little bit more powerful. I'd rule out anything that doesn't have Markdown support. If that's not important to you, I would say um, Byword is still going to be the better pick. Um, that's just my opinion. That might change with an update to any of these three. If you guys use something different, uh, let us know in the comments. These are certainly not the only three text editing apps in the App Store, and I'm sure there are many of you out there that use something different. So let us know uh, what you use and why.